Mr. Miller was looking for a place to sit down, and he did, and unceremoniously he was ripped back up to his feet again. I'm sure he has a sizable headache right now. Here's another oh. one right on the floor. You, you hear that up here? You hear that? This pop. Another backsman drilling into the far ropes. And then he whips him right straight into the camera. Oh. Takes a tackle for his effort. Hip block by Miller. Tries for a pin. The drill kicks him off and runs right into a flying oh. arm. Look at that, to a kneeling arm bar by Madrill. A lot of action there. Fast and furious. Is that a scratch on uh, Miller's side or is that some blood there? That looks like some blood. And I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know whether it's coming from Madrill or Miller, but that is definitely blood. He may have cut himself on that far turnbuckle and Madrill ran him into it. Occasionally that cable does stick through. You know how hard it is to cut a hunk of cable unless you've got cable cutters and sometimes they play on the end where they tie them. And you get one of those nice little hunks of steel sticking through that padding. It'll do a number on you. Uh, Miller now trying to do a number on Madrill. Uh, he's going to do, yeah. He, oh, Madrill blocked it and came back with one of his own. Miller was going to try to pop Al, and uh, Madrill blocked the shot and popped him one of his own. We were checking uh, this past week about various areas of the country where wrestling stars are. And we checked a couple of pictures in some of the magazines of uh, who their top people were in various areas. And uh, it's amazing. In one of the areas from out of New York and the East Coast, four of the top men that are on top in that business back there, four of the top contenders in their estimation, come from here. Come from here, I was going to say. We yeah. sent them back there. People don't realize that. They, you tell them over and over again, where do you think these guys got their start? Where do you think they were superstars here before they went back there? Ladies and gentlemen, there are 14 million people surrounding New York City. They get more publicity. They get more magazine uh, coverage than we do out, out here on the West Coast in Portland, Oregon. The simple reason there's millions of them and hundreds of thousands of us. But per capita, in other words, if you were to put the same amount of people in New York that you have here in Portland, we outdraw them three to one per capita. Three to one. That's yep. fan participation. And as far as bringing out stars, the list is infinitesimal. Just take a look around the nation and you'll see people that were in here where they got their start before they went back east. I'm sure Jimmy Snooker was on that list and he's, he, you sent oh, him yeah. back there Jesse from here. Ventura, Adrian Adonis. Uh, oh, let's, uh, the list is so long and so, you name it. The, anybody you've seen is on top anywhere in the country at one time or other was in here in the Portland area. Well, uh, we've known that uh, we've got the, the greatest fans in professional wrestling anyway. Rowdy Piper. Oh, the drill's going outside. Some of these gentlemen had broken in the business before they came in to Portland, but this is where they got their first big break at stardom. And due to the efforts of promoter Don Owen, his constituents, Made some big names for the wrestling world. We want to make sure people realize that. And they write in and say, why don't you get those guys out here? Well, we had them for five years. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be coming back one day. Uh, Miller greeting Madrill. As Madrill tries to get back in the ring. Uh, the next snapper. Now, he's going to get Madrill. He's, Madrill's going to lose his cool down there. That's when he gets hot. And that's when he starts taking care of business. The old TCB. Right my director talks to me sometimes, folks, and I hear these voices in my ear. And if you hear me saying, Roger, it's confirming something. I have to tell you, he thinks he's a 747 pilot. <laughs> so we have, to, we have to treat him with respect. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh. Wrapping that left leg of Mike Miller's around a steel post. Now Albadrill goes for the right leg and bangs it onto that Ooh. post. Miller Ten bar is counting. There's a hard right hand by Supermax. Miller may not have a leg to stand on now. Oh, on. Both Very of them wrapped good, around huh? that post. 
Miller in a lot of pain. And I think it's going to be a little bit more. There's a, oh, the drill working on that forehead. Zap. You think Miller knows where he is right now? He's having a hard time, but don't count Mike Miller out. He's a big man. There's a oh. line tackle by Madrill. Madrill came. For a count. We only get a two out of that one. Madrill came flying halfway across the ring. Smashed Miller. There's an ear knocker. That sets Miller back. He's trying for a pin again. Uh, he's taking care of business right now, Madrill. Uh, uh, he's having some business take care of him. There's a whip and the rope. Look at that. There's a victory roll. We have a two count. Miller claps those shins across Al Madrill's ears. Let's stop that onslaught. There's a small package by Al Madrill. Uh, Miller got out of that one again. Gracious, gracious. This is a tremendous match. Miller's big. He's tough. Both these men are. Oh, there's a rake right across the face. The forearm. Now both men working on each other as the bell rings. Time on the draw. Mike Miller and Al Madrill. Yeah, they're still going at it. Battling to a draw in our second match tonight. Look at that. They're still going. They may be going when we come back. And we will be back right after this. I know.